In this lesson, we will revisit the chart of accounts and the scheduler and show how different variances of scaled visits are created, also how to create non-billable visits, how to document missed visits, how to include medical supplies, and how to use the subaccounts. We will also be touching on the utilization of the visit frequency and how to reschedule appointments and also how to use the route sheet for printing schedules and also posting visits from the route sheets. Within the healthcare assistant software, users have the ability to create a variety of different visit types aside from the standard skilled services that we covered in the last scheduling lesson. The examples we'll be going over today are the skilled nursing visits. In my library, I have my chart of accounts and I have my standard skilled nursing visit. Now the example that we're going to be going over is how to create a skilled nursing evaluation visit and also a skilled nursing discharge visit. Now being able to differentiate between types of visits is helpful to scheduling coordinators and field staff members for their weekly schedules and calendars, as well as administrators and payroll staff who need to track varied types of skilled visits for cost purposes. Now the process of creating detailed visits is the same process as creating a regular visit. The only thing that changes is the user code, the description, and possibly the billing code. In regards to the billing code, refer to your insurance company's billing manual to see if the billing code is different for each type of visit. Now the example of creating the skilled nursing evaluation visit, I'll simply click on new, and I'll choose to manually enter the code. I'll make it similar to my default code, so I'll enter in 551E for evaluation. I'll simply click on OK. I'll type in the description. Put in the account type as procedure revenue. Now the standard code stays the same even though the user code is different. I will select the group. The unit type is visits. I'll put in my charge and the cost and also the billing code. I'll then click on save to save my changes. And I've now created a skilled nursing evaluation account. Now the creation of the discharge account is similar. I'll simply click on new, manually enter, Type in 551DC for discharge. The user code could be anything you would like. Click on OK. I'll type in my description. The account type is procedure revenue. Again, the standard code stays the same. And make sure that if it's a billable visit, that the billable box is checked and also that the account is active. I will then select the group, the unit type, Type in my charge, my cost, and my procedure code for billing, and click on Save. I've now created an evaluation and a discharge visit for my skilled nursing discipline for use in the software. Now there may be instances where visits need to be entered into the software for tracking, but aren't necessarily billable. For this example, I will show how to create a non-billable skilled nursing visit. Simply click on New. Again, I will manually enter in my code, and I will select NB to identify this as non-billable. Again, the code can be anything you'd like, but I'm choosing NB for this example. I'll put in the description, the account type, standard code, select the group, the unit type, and since it's not billable, I won't necessarily put in a charge, but I can put in a cost and click Save. The program also has the ability to create non-skilled visits, such as housekeeping or dietitian visits. To create a non-skilled visit, click New. You can have the program automatically assign a code or manually enter one of your own. Put in the description. The account type would be procedure revenue. Now with standard codes and procedure codes, you would have to refer to your billing manual to see if there are any billing codes and also to see if the type of visit you are entering is billable. For now, I will uncheck billable, select the group of non-skilled, put in the unit type, and save the account. To keep track of missed visits, you must first create a missed visit account for each discipline. For this example, I will show how to create a skilled nursing missed visit. 
simply click on new. I will manually enter in my code and I will put MV for missed visit. I will put in the description. The account type, instead of procedure revenue like all the other visits, I will select other charge items. When other charge items is selected, a checkbox that says use this account to document missed visits pops up. I will click on this, uncheck billable, and put in the standard code for missed visits. I will select the group for skilled nursing, put in the unit type, and since I'm not billing for this visit, I'll leave the procedure code and the usual fee area blank. I'll click save to save my account. Missed visits can be documented when posting the visit notes for the patient. For example, we will select our nurse, and let's say for the visit on 7-3, the visit for Medicare patient was missed. When we post the visit, we would edit the actual time in and time out, click on OK, and we would change the discipline from a skilled nursing visit to a skilled nursing missed visit. We'll mark the visit notes as in and click on post to post to the patient's ledger. The description now changes from SN visit to SN missed visit. This can also be viewed from the patient scheduler. If we take a look at the patient and we look at the visit for 7-3, it states that it's a missed visit. Also, if we take a look at the summary view for the patient, we can see the visit that was supposed to be done on the sixth week of the episode has been missed. A report can also be printed out to show missed visits. Under the reports section, you can go to caregiver reports, highlight the visit list. We can also click on show detail of visits and click on only include missed visits. Now this can be filtered out by a specific caregiver or a specific discipline or you can just select all caregivers, filter it out by date, and click on print. This will show all missed visits for each caregiver if no specific caregiver was chosen. As was briefly stated in the last scheduler lesson, subaccounts may also be used for mileage accounts and also any medical supplies. When I click on post to post a visit, I can add a sub-account, such as a medical supply, put how many units were used, and I can also type in a mileage account. Mark my notes as in, and click on post. The program will then let me know that the appointment will be posted, and also two sub-accounts will be posted to the ledger as well. I can click on OK. And if I go to that patient, I can view the ledger with the visit along with the mileage and wound care supplies.